In this video, we are going to show how to use a clickable checklist in Google Docs. So we're first going to open up a Google Doc that we have here, and we are going to be able to insert a new clickable checklist in Google Docs. This option is right up at the top next to the bullet list option. So wherever you want a clickable checklist, you can um, click that uh, insert checklist option, and then it functions essentially the same as a bullet point list. So you can click enter to add a new checklist item and you can type in whatever you would like for that uh, row in your list. And then you can see that it is clickable and it will fill in that checkbox and it does add a strike through for any item um, along that checklist option. Um, you can right click on these and switch it over to a bullet list um, or change any of those um, features for that list item. Um, right here in that option. So the strike through is built into the clickable checklist at this time in Google Docs. That is not a feature that you can change in Google Docs currently since the checklist is a new feature. However, they also work in tables. So we're gonna highlight this column in this table and insert checklist. You can change the font size to make those boxes a little bit bigger to go along in that section. We're gonna adjust the width of that column as well. And you'll see when I click the checkbox in the column, it does not do the strike through in the column where I have my list items. So that is a way that you can avoid the strike through for those list items by creating a table and setting your checkboxes to be in their own column for those items. So you can use checkboxes in a column as well as in a straight list where you have the strike through option as well. So those are two ways that you can use a clickable checklist to help stay on top of a to-do list or any type of list um, to check off items as you complete them in Google Docs.